After three years in office, one of Charlotte's top cops bids farewell to the Queen City's federal court. I have thoroughly loved this job. I've loved being a public servant. U.S. Attorney Andrew Murray says serving the Western District of North Carolina has been a privilege as he reflects on his office's accomplishments and most significant prosecutions. The 80 bloods that we put in jail early in my in my career and several of them were really high rank and in fact the godfather of the bloods. Recently we did one of the largest public corruption cases in really the country in USB Greg Lindbergh and placed him in custody for a long time for trying to bribe the insurance commissioner. So there are two that stand out. Murray also made strides in protecting our most vulnerable populations. He created the Elder Justice Initiative to combat the abuse and financial exploitation of seniors and increased efforts in capturing child predators. First of all, we have very talented agents in our district that focus primarily on finding child exploiters out there in the dark web and every place else they hide. I, I kind of made a special division and, and we placed several people uh, that will, would focus on those prosecutions. I also asked Murray to elaborate on some controversial comments he made about the sanctuary policies of local sheriffs. Any sheriffs that are, that are uh, allowing somebody to leave their jail when they understand that ICE has a hold on them and ICE wants them because they have committed some crime, that that is a danger to the community. It also is an endangering life, law enforcement, mainly ICE, because then they go have to go find them on the streets or in a house or in a car. Uh, and that's a danger to everybody involved. That's not a sterile environment like the jail. Murray stands by his opinions as he heads for the exit, notably wistful, but without regret. There are incredibly talented and dedicated people in this office that protect this community every day. I'm going to hate to leave it, but it's part of the political process. So what's next for this man who has dedicated his life to public service? I'm waiting to see what God has in store for me for the next chapter of my life. I'm sure it'll be something that is new and exciting and different. Seema Iyer, Box 46.